Brendan Schwab. Brendan Schwab. Brendan Schaub. Brendan Schaub. You know him. You either hate him or you tolerate him. That seems to be what the whole internet does. They either hate him or they tolerate him. Uh, and then if you find a fan of Brendan Schaub, they're very rare. Because he's in this void of nothingness. Until now. Until now. All right? If you haven't heard the drama, I will fill you in. So Brendan, uh, he put out a video expressing his uh, concerns for his... One of his uh, 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 martial... Oh, ah, 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 ah. One of his, uh, I guess, martial arts companion, buddy. He's got real bad CTE and he's starting to degrade and uh, Brendan Shaw got a little choked up about it. Put out a video and said, I feel bad for my friend. And he's trying to spread awareness for CTE. All right. And that's a good thing. It's a great thing. Okay. And then Nate Diaz. We all know Nate Diaz. All right. His brother's fighting this weekend, which we'll talk about UFC in a minute here. But let me just continue on with this Brendan Shaw sitch. So Nathan Diaz, Nate Diaz comes along and and he puts out a tweet that says, Brendan the big old pussy shob with a crying face emoji. <laughs> huh? He's calling him a pussy because uh, Brendan feels, feels bad for uh, his friend who has CTE. Now, Nate Diaz and Brendan Shaw, they've had, they've been bickering back and forth for a long time. There's even a video of them bickering in person. But you couldn't really hear what they were saying and nothing really happened. So, boppity boopity. Uh, so anyway, after Nate puts out that tweet, Shab comes back with a video response and claps back. All right? And ever since he put this video out, the amount of love that Brendan Schaub has is receiving is astronomical. Brendan Schaub has been notoriously hated and ridiculed and degraded for years, not only for his comedy, but just for his personality, the things he says, his fighting, like everything. Everyone always shits on Brendan Schaub, always. And I did a little bit, but I, I've always liked Brendan Schaub because he's part of the sphere, is part of the atmosphere. Okay? I'm a huge fan of stand-up comedy. I don't think Brendan Schaub's stand-up comedy is funny, but guess what? He's part of the atmosphere. He's put out a couple specials. Yes, they're not great, but he's doing it. All right, and it Nobody becomes successful in comedy overnight. No one becomes successful in comedy over five years or even 10 years. It takes a long time, okay? And he's still rising up. And he understands this. And that's why I like him, all right? And he's another example of someone who doesn't give up unless it's UFC. But that makes sense because uh, he was getting to a point where he couldn't go any longer. And he needed to give up. Or else he would be the one with CTE. And then and then Joe Rogan would be making a video concerned about uh, Brendan. Okay? Now, even though Brendan didn't have the greatest UFC career, he still knocked, knocked out Matt Micro Crow Cop, whatever the fuck his name is. One of the greatest heavyweights of all time. Okay? So... <laughs> This is probably the best thing that could have ever happened to Brendan Schaub. The tides have turned. People love Brendan Schaub now. They, people love him. He's been notoriously hated forever. And now he's finally getting the love. And I am, I am so stoked to see where this goes. I think this is, this is, this is, we're living in a moment right now where it's a turning point for Brendan, ah, ah, that pinched. It's a turning point for Brendan Schaub. Finally, the swarm of hate has washed away and he is going to be loved and he is being loved. We're seeing it all over the platform. Even people who are not even a part of this world are becoming attracted to this story. All right. And it's because of the response that Brendan Schaub did. 
And people are acting like they've never seen this side of Brendan Shaw before. He has done this plenty of times with plenty of people, but because you guys have hated him so much, you don't actually get to see Brendan uh, talk like this because you avoid him. But now that he's in a fucking beef with Nate Diaz, he's on the forefront of your fucking face. All right? But that's besides the point. I am very happy for Brandon Schaub and where he's at right now. And I think, I know he's smart enough to capitalize on this moment. All right? Because after this response, the entire community, whether it's the UFC community or mixed martial arts community or whatever, or even just the the people who are involved in the comedy world that also follow mixed martial arts, you know, because they are intertwined for a lot of reasons, specifically Joe Rogan, but, you know, everybody wants to see Brendan Schaub fight Nate Diaz. Whether it's a fucking jujitsu match or a mixed martial arts match, something, they want it to happen. And normally it wouldn't make sense to even consider doing this. But now there's so much attention on this right now, of course it makes sense to do it. And I think, I think Brendan's going to push for this to happen. We already know Nate Diaz is desperate to do stuff. All right. He's boxing fucking Jake Paul and Jorge Masvidal just for whatever reason. And it's not even that exciting to watch. But this, Brendan Schaub versus Nate Diaz, hell fucking yeah, dude. Hell yeah. And you know what? I was shocked to see the amount of people that were saying Brendan Schaub would absolutely obliterate Nate Diaz. All right? Even though I said, yes, he's getting all the love, but I just still had it in my head like, oh, it doesn't matter what the credentials are. People hate Brendan Schaub, so they're automatically going to pick Nate Diaz because generally speaking, Nate Diaz is more loved than Brandon Schaub. But when I looked at the comments on every single video, every single response, it's almost overwhelmingly in favor of Brandon Schaub. And it just, it blows my mind to see people on Brandon Schaub's side. Again, with that being said, I've always liked Brandon. Yeah, I made fun of him here and there, but I've always liked Brandon. I'm surprised because it's it's always been hatred towards him and now the tides have turned and people are loving him and I it's it's so refreshing to see it's like yes yeah dude hell yeah So let's watch the response Here's how I feel about it This is just internet gossip right this gets him trending he doesn't have a lot going on The way this works I'm not a civilian like the rest of his goons around him I'm not this fake gangster. I don't go looking for fights. I know I'm tough. I don't have to get on Twitter and blast it out. At the end of the day, I will twist your fucking neck off. Ask your boys. There's many of guys that you fucks with, that I've rolled with. Ask them how it went. And the difference between you and I, Nate, if you started coming out and getting emotional about your brother's issues with CT and fighting and all this shit, I would support you even though you've been a dick to me the entire time. But what a real man will do is pull up one-on-one. I don't have a posse. I don't need one, bud. I'll drop my kid off at fucking practice, roll over, twist your fucking neck off, and then pick him up just in time unscathed with a Diet Coke. Are you good? Yeah, you are. You ain't gonna do shit. You can get back on Twitter. You can get back on your social media. Go find your next real fight, bud. Go make money. And I'll still support you, dude. I have no issues with you. But if you're looking for one, I'm not hard to find. (gasps) All right. So what are we doing here? You started coming out and getting emotional about your brothers. All right. Let's, Let's make it happen, Brendan. Dude, let's make it fucking happen. And I... Right now... I'm I'm really feeling like we're going to hear an announcement. I feel like oh man, it's it, it Brendan Brendan for sure. Like come on, man. This is such a good opportunity for you. This is such a good opportunity for you and Nate. All right? Ah, 
but I don't know, man. But maybe but Nate was probably thinking like, okay, now I'm the bad guy. But I don't know. Maybe he wants to play into that. Either way, they're going to make fucking money. They would make money, dude. Yeah, that's good for both of them. Do it, Nate. Do it, Brandon. Shit, did I move the pumpkin? I don't fucking know, dude. Somewhere over the rainbow, Brandon Schaub. Brandon Schaub will fight Nathan Diaz for 50 million. Brandon Schaub. Jackpot.